Montgomery County's population is approximately one million people. Did you know that one third of our residents are over 50 years old? The Vital Living Network, or VLN, was organized to serve them. Here's more. The Vital Living Network, in a nutshell, uh, is an organization of individuals who are committed to informing the county's public population about the opportunities for older adults in the county. We want to both promote quality of life and also enable people to get involved with the county and contribute to the county. The Vital Living Network is a group of county and community leaders who are focused on vital living for seniors through lifelong learning, through volunteering, through um, employment, it's just getting people engaged and really thriving in their environment to keep them in Montgomery County as well. We have always uh, tried to, to make certain that our seniors are as, as, in a, uh, as comfortable as they can be. We have programs for seniors. Uh, in my former life, I was the mayor of Gaithersburg. We had a senior center, a very popular, and still do, a very popular place. And, and Montgomery County is doing very similar things. We have a wonderful community, and our seniors are such an important part of our community, and we are committed to our seniors. We want our seniors to stay in place. We, we pride ourselves on being a community for a lifetime. We we are working very hard to make sure that they have the services and that they can live a full, rich, enlivened life. In a survey that was recently done by the county executive, 85% of the seniors in Montgomery County want to stay here. And in Montgomery County, which is unique in terms of its talent and the diversity of the population, 43,000 of the seniors speak languages other than English at home. So we have a diverse population but we think they're united by the desire to stay engaged and stay active and stay healthy. Um, well, it began as a, a sort of partnership between government agencies and the county that provides services and programs that appeal to older adults, people 55 and over, and then a combination of nonprofits and individuals with an interest in aging. We have a number of people who had worked in aging and are retired but continue to want to work in the field and you know, we have some wonderful talent that way. Uh, the whole idea was to say, okay, well, what can we do as a county to keep people here? We don't want them all going to Florida. <laughs> so, you know, we want our tax structure to stay, stay firm and we want to offer the services that they want. So we, a few of us got together, kind of the movers and the shakers, and said, okay, well, what, you know, what are we offering? What, are we, what can we do? What can we plan for the future? So that's how it all started. We see seniors pitching in, in terms of what we call civic engagement, becoming more and more involved to make Montgomery a good place to live. The largest senior center is the one we're sitting in now which was an old elementary school, so the building is probably 70 years old almost, and was made into a senior center about 35 years ago. And, and there's so much offered here. I mean, any kind of course that might, you might need, a driving course, you want to learn Spanish, you want to learn French, you want to learn how to swim, you go to the aquatic center. There, I mean, whatever you want to do, and even if you don't know that you want to do it, take one of the recreation pamphlets out and you say, hey, this, this, this could be for me. So it's a, just a question of putting yourself out there a little bit. Certainly part of Vital Living is giving back to the community and being engaged and because there are so many benefits to volunteering, studies have shown that it increases your life and it increases, uh, de decreases social isolation and you meet great people. That's the biggest secret of volunteering. You meet like-minded people who want to do good and if you find something that's your passion that you want to look forward to doing every day, that's a great volunteer match. There's also a helper's high that they've demonstrated of volunteering that not only does the beneficiary benefit but the giver also benefits. So it's a win-win. Another big theme for us has been lifelong learning. We have a representative of the Montgomery College Lifelong Learning Center 
Lifelong Learning Institute is a program that provides educational opportunities for individuals 50 and over at Montgomery College. What distinguishes this program is the fact that we offer a broad variety of choices in courses we offer, in geographical location, and in course format. We also make our courses college quality, as well as uh, provide active learning opportunities with sometimes experiential components. So we keep our students uh, mentally engaged, physically active, and socially engaged as well. We serve normally over a thousand students per semester, and um, the range of courses might be from 80 to 100. We also offer students opportunity to take courses at different locations. Our main hub is Gatorsburg Business Training Center, this wonderful modern facility, but we also offer courses on Rockville campus, Germantown and Tacoma Park, as well as on libraries at uh, senior centers as well. In the past, uh, the Vital Living Network had a print publication called The Navigator. And um, we noticed that there were lots of print publications, but the problem with them is that the information changes. So we took The Navigator and transposed it into The Networker. And now with the partnership with Montgomery County Government, Department of Health and Human Services, it's on the county's website. And so our job is really to let people know what's available, what they can do, what are the opportunities, how they can contribute. So we feel like we've been successful, but we have more work to do as a county senior population grows in its numbers and diversity. To learn more about the Vital Living Network, go to MontgomeryCountyMD.gov and search for Vital Living Networker. The brochure is available in PDF form.